right back. And this is still the blog on Wazobia Max HF57. We've been quite selfish because we've I've almost forgotten that we are on live TV and people are watching. It's like I'm having tea and you know, uh, just conversing. We're just conversing in our yeah. own <laughs> oven. But if you'd like to join the conversation, please go on Twitter at WMAX underscore the blog on Facebook. The um, handle is on your TV screen. And don't forget to use our hashtag. Love. Love. Two. Two. Yes, this is what ah, Freeze has to learn ah, to. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's love. So there's yes, love. 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 Yeah. Two. Then two. two. Yeah. yeah. Vlog. Then type it up. Type it well, up. Yeah, that's God. it. <laughs> that's so guys, it. don't forget to use the hashtag. Love. love two. two. Blah. Blah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Yeah, absolutely right, amazing. Back. Destiny, we're talking about <laughs> yeah. Um, there was yeah. something we were talking about. We were talking about guessing. the apologies that you were making on social media, and for me, I, I didn't, I didn't know half of the people you were talking about <laughs> at all. I just saw bright. Yeah. And I was like, wow. And then you put an old school picture of you two together. So I think that apology probably was deeper, was more personal you, you than see, the others. Um, Bright and I go way back, as in way back. The industry you guys have now mm -hmm. was built on the hard work some of us put in. I've been in this industry for 20 years. Mm. Um, I've met people who are big brands today who are personal assistants to other brands a few years ago mm. and have now in their own right become even bigger sometimes than the brands they were. The first time I met Bright in my life was in Ibadan. We never spoke then. He came with Julius Agu as his assistant. Oh, well, shit. Hmm. Uh, maybe not as his assistant in the word. Let me, not, let me use a better word. He came to assist him. But you could tell he that... He was Julius Agu's assistant. He wasn't well, he his, came to, assist. to assist him. Oh, I thought he said the other way around. No, wow, no, no. okay. Julius had a show. Yeah. And Bright was upcoming then. We didn't speak, but I've said this a couple of times to Julius and even to Bright, I'm sure. Bright's growth was phenomenal, and he carried me along. There were times when he would come and work with me, even though he had op the opportunity to work with other people. Uh, we had a very good working relationship. working relationship. A friend, we had a very good friendship. And Bright is, and I must say, one of the most... I wouldn't use the word kind. I'll, I'll, I'll probably say thoughtful people that I know. But he's also very, he also has his own, you know, issues, which I'm not going to talk about since I'm trying to seek peace right now. <laughs> uh, Bright was my friend. He was someone I would, we would go to some local joint and sit down and eat Ishewu on a regular. You know, mm. we, were, we were very close. Paddy. We were Paddies, you know. We knew some of each other's secrets, <laughs> to put it that way. Then, things started happening. I don't want to go into what happened, but there was, it was like a ping pong game. Someone served, the other person responded. slammed back and mm -hmm. responded, and he went. And he grew to a point where I realized that, look, this guy I'm fighting is my brother. Should I really be having an argument with my mother's son? I see Bright as my brother. Uh, the first show I did in the UK was given to me by Bright. I'm never going to forget that. It was Laughs and Jams 2006. Bright took me along with the crew from Nigeria, helped me back then to introduce my brand into the UK. UK. After that, I've, I've done a lot of work in the UK with DJ Abbas, with um, AY, with um, Rockbo, and a few mm. others. But Bright was that door that opened for me into Europe in 2006. So in as much as I get angry with him, I always have to remember that this was, this was someone that was instrumental in, in making me whatever it is that I've become. Mm -hmm. So I offered him my sincere apology, not because I was 100% wrong, but because I just wanted my friend back. And even if I don't ever get him back as a friend, I still feel good I've done my part of it. That's beautiful. Very, That's beautiful. Very... And, and I have another question. I'm sorry. Freeze is my boss. <laughs> That's what she keeps saying, but she throws you on that yeah. boss sometimes. Yeah, because I find with you respect yourself. He's, he's your boss. He signs my leave. Yeah. He doesn't sign, I don't go and leave. Yeah, so, Egbo. 
beautiful words you just said, and I actually believe it. I feel it. I just want to know that if it will go beyond social media, if it will fluctuate into your personal life, this harmony of forgiveness. Mm, that's a deep, when, when things are deep this, on this, this show, you snap on it. Snap <laughs> so I'm snapping to um, that. Is it about harmony yes, or if forgiveness? It's basketball, no. No, 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 no. Like, no if, 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 you want, if, if you permit me to break it down, yeah. no, I, I, I said behind closed doors. Now, we all know what's happening on social media because you put it out there. Mm. How about beefs that you may have with people in your personal life? Like, I just want to know if this whole healing process mm, is also now, entering I, I, behind you see, the scenes. The Bible in the, in the um, book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 3, says when your brother offends you, you rebuke. Yes, I remember Which that. Which is what I do, I rebuke. Yeah. And I'm an Ibadan man. What an Ibadan man understands as rebuking is different from what a British um, high society uh, <laughs> lady understands by rebuking. If an Ibadan man rebukes you, you will nearly die. So I rebuke. The Bible now says, if they repent, forgive. So uh, there are some people who have not even repented. Did Bright repent? Bright contributed to my life in many ways. Okay, so it's a, fa it's a I mean, let there's me There's a watch, I'm, I'm gonna put it on Instagram today. There's a watch in my collection that was bought for me by Bright. It wasn't an expensive watch, but it was just a thoughtful watch. Mm. He went, it was an accurist. He went to the UK and came back with a watch for me. Mm -hmm. And I still keep that watch in my collection, even though it's like maybe $200, not particularly expensive. But I still have it. He, 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 he was my guy. Mm. So if I, I, I'm done with being angry with him, okay. I want to reach out to my friends. Well, there are some people who have annoyed me. They have been useless to me. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I need to ask you this. You, see, I'm, you sound like someone who is very interested in relationships and keeping relationships. Because Definitely. one thing you have consistently mentioned about Bright, who, by the way, is basket mouth for people who are not as sorry, familiar, sorry. is basket mouth is that you remember what he has done for you, you remember. Now to break down Destiny's questions, because we have about two minutes to go before the end of the show, I can't believe that one hour has gone already. Aww. But I know, but I'm sure she's talking about your personal relationship. It wasn't just private, because you also put it out there. There were some times you vented on social media and you've spoken about it a few times, you know, okay. with your, in terms of your, um, your, um, your ex-wife, now your ex-wife, and how you related with her, and she really upset you from what you posted out there, would you extend the same grace and forgiveness and pop? Because a lot of people did say that that was one person that they did not see on the list of apologies the day you did it. What happened? And would you be doing that, making that There's point? an action word I mentioned. It's called repent. Mm. Very key. <laughs> so if you don't <laughs> repent, you don't get uh, forgiveness? It's not me, it's the Bible. <laughs> Wow. Politician. Uh, if you don't <laughs> repent, you don't get forgiveness. It's not him. I don't have to talk about your okay. views. No, but okay. no, no, no. I just want to address something. Um, hurt, pain, anger, and all of these emotions and feelings, they do not switch off like light bulbs. Thank you. They don't. So in that respect, it's a journey. It's a process. And I, I'm glad that you've come to a place where, okay, today you remember your long childhood friend, and the things he's done for you and you want to make peace. Let us continue to pray that that journey of harmony yeah. continues because anger is, is, is mm. it's a really horrible thing. Yeah. Mm. All right, great stuff. And you couldn't have wrapped it up any better. But just before we go, I think we have a few more seconds for final words. And before we do our final words, I had to say, OK, my producer says no final words. <laughs> <laughs> but we had to go to spend so much time. But before we go, I have to say, and we have to say thank you so very much for being so open, yes. so honest, for indulging our questions. Before you go, how can people follow you on Instagram, Twitter, all those places? Um, Daddy Freeze on Instagram, Freeze underscore Cool FM on Twitter, on Facebook is Freeze Cool FM or Daddy Freeze. You'd find me either way. Oh, and I my know. website is daddyfreeze.com. Very important. That way you can't miss getting me. Send me a message, whatever you want. I'll attend to you. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.